Hi, today we are going to discuss about how to deploy a ZPA app connector on Red Hat servers. Let's jump in. I'm using Azure platform to install the Red Hat uh, server. And on top of that server, we are gonna install the uh, app connectors. I'm just demonstrating you how to do that. Go to Azure uh, virtual machines and the create a virtual machine. You can use uh, the resource group and other com configuration based on your corporate needs. I'm choosing Red Hat 8.0. If you need any memory, other uh, CPU and other details needs to configure, you can click Nest Nest and you can update it under the each modules, otherwise you can leave other configuration as is. Then uh, the authentication types, I'm gonna use a uh, password based authentication. The virtual machine started uh, provisioning, so it may take some time. Now the Red Hat uh, machine provisioning is completed. You can go to resources. So the operating system running on its uh, Red Hat 8.0. Uh, let's uh, log into this uh, server and see the configurations. I'm going to use a um, party section. Now you have two options to download the RPM files from the repository. You may directly change the repository and you can pull the configuration from the uh, repository directly, or you can use uh, any SCP or WinSCP file system to forward or copy the file from your repository, your local machine to the uh, um, Linux machine. So I'm just following the second option. I'm gonna copy the uh, files which is already stored on my local machine to the Linux server, Red Hat uh, Linux machine. Okay, let's uh, see how we can do that. I'm gonna access the server. There are two files, 
on one gpg file you need to upload and also the sapa connector rpm file you need to upload here into that uh, uh, linux machine once you've done this log into the server you can put ls so you can see the the list of files available on your machine once you did that you can start provisioning the um, zpa app connectors first first import import the gpg file using the command rpm import you can use sudo the second command is uh, upload the rpm file rpm hyphen i okay, still you can use a sudo command once you upload these configurations we need to stop the zpa services before that you need to start the uh, ssh services from the machine and then you need to stop the zpa app connector Once you stop the ZPA app connector, you need to provision a file to upload the provisioning keys. Once you provision a file, you need to give full access to that file and both write, read everything, and then open the provisioning key file using a editor. You can use VI editors and I have already created a provisioning key from the machine uh, ZPA console portal. So you can just copy that provisioning key and upload the provisioning key into the file and save the configuration. If you want to see the configuration, uh, you can use cat command to see it once. Yeah, now you could see the um, provisioning key uploaded. Then what you have to do, you have to um, start the ZPA services. In order to start ZPA services, you have to use command sudo systemctl start ZPA connector. And if you want to see the status, you can use status command to see it. Okay, now the synchronization is started. The current version is running on your machine is uh, to 21.352.1 and the IP address of your machine is this one. Let's see the portal, how the configuration would be. In the portal, you could see uh, there are other machines. Now you could see one more machine is connected, but not uh, connect, uh, connection status is disconnected. and the scheduler status is not scheduled, but the current version is same as your um, the machine. So what you can do, you can just uh, expand it and see if there is IP addresses are assigned. No, and you can give a, a refresh. Now the app connector is connected and you could see the IP address as well. Yeah, then IP address is same as your Red Hat machine. So now you have your scheduled option, you can, uh, wait till the scheduler is completed and the upgrade will happen to the new, newer, newer version 22.48.2 otherwise you can click update now and that is update now will kick the up, update options so here you could see the changes when you do the update now 
yeah, the software connector will set it up upgrade for in 298 seconds. So after 298 seconds, the version will be upgraded to uh, this one uh, after the next restart. So restart will happen automatically, not necessary to do the restart manually. Here in the connector um, under under ZPA console portal, you could see the public service search used to connect and the location which uh, you are chosen when uh, when you're provisioning the connector group and provisioning keys. And also you could see the um, the connector platform which used is um, Linux and the, the public IP of that particular server is also visible to you. Here you could see the host name or the name of the app connectors. Most of the corporate will use their own uh, host names uh, so that you can uh, you can easily identify those uh, app connectors inside your corporate premises. So it's always recommended to use uh, edit the name and keep based on your convenience. Let's see the current status. Yeah, the upgrade is uh, completed and a restart will happen in 220 uh, seconds. Now the connector is gonna restart after 30 seconds. It's gonna restart in uh, four seconds. So once it is restarted, the version will be upgraded to newer version. The, when you see here, the current version is this one. This version will be upgraded uh, to 22.48.2 after the uh, restart. Let's see. upgrade uh, config changed and the version is uh, will be uploaded after the restart now the restart uh, will happen within a short time period of time and the upgradation once the restart happens the new version will be upgraded now you could see the status is showing uh, disconnected that means the service is upgraded and failed to connect to the zpa cloud connector software set to upgrade in 68 seconds uh, currently installed version is this one so the upgradation is completed you could see the current installed version is newer version 2248.2 Let's verify the same in uh, portal as well. Yeah, now the version is upgraded to latest version. So in this section, we have uh, uh, deployed a uh, Red Hat server. On top of that server, we installed the ZPA app connectors. And the server which version which we chosen was uh, 8.0 you can install 8.2 or 7.2 and above versions. And there are two options to um, choose the repository. Either you can directly download from your uh, server itself or you can download it to any one of your machine through the SCCP, Winner CP or any other uh, tra file transfer mechanism. You can transfer the file to the respective servers. And after that, you can uh, change the provisioning key or up, create a new provisioning key from your machine or you can use a uh, existing provisioning key in the same connector group and you can deploy the app connectors once you deploy the app connectors you need to upgrade the app connector either you have to wait till the next scheduler or you can directly go ahead and click update now so update will take some time so after uh, there is uh, once the upgrade time window is completed automatically it will restart and bring up with new versions we successfully done that in this configuration and thank you for your time. Have a good day.